seed. Coach Abe for UCF, this is the highest seed that they've achieved in school history. Brooke, they're going to try to find their first tournament win today. Bad shots, they make teams take contested shots, and teams find it really hard to score. I mean, it's not often. Teams will get 50. In the postseason. Off the steal, UCF in transition. Sanders with the dish. And off glass on the putback is Kaba. And most importantly, reverse the ball from one side to the next or skip pass. That will get them open shots. Masani Kaba gets it back up and in and a chance for three. Been so strong. That's point number four for Kaba. Goes against Mott. That's her first. Six nothing UCF out in front of Northwestern. Seen a couple of upsets already today. Pulliam. Mid range is there from 15. Nicely executed. Did I mention I love teeing it up on how to attack the zone? I think that's one of your well, specialties. Baseline, there it is for Sanders. They're trying to be as big as they can, recognizing the mismatch inside. Pulliam, quick trigger and connects, and that's a three. Destiny Thomas goes to work. She's quickly double teamed and turns it over. Not a surprise to see Northwestern in the active hands. It is Burton, but the way she plays defense. Oh, 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 oh Pulliam. The sweet dime dropped in that sequence. You see after response. Quick, they're an athletic team, not even phased by this Northwestern defense that also has a pretty good reputation. Inside okay. a chance for three. Gordon Hamilton going to work, Brooke. Defensive battle, which means it's going to get physical. Hamilton, what a great drive and finish. Earlier today, we had BYU over Rutgers. So after a day in which the higher seeds all proved victorious, it's been a different tone so far on this month. The black pants, it is UCF <laughs> wearing the black uni. So I understand how that happens, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, really, if you haven't passed to a ref, I don't know if you play basketball. Struggling with turnovers. Smith goes to work. She was doubled. Oh, and nice connects. shot. Gets the zone. That's all nice. net from downtown. Pace in this one starting to grind down. Both defenses settling in. Kaba the turn and the finish. So we'll make a note 530 to go in the first half. UCF with a one point lead, but now down one of its top players. That was a three ball and the foul inside. Shot clock under five. Lewis has to hurry. How about a six point possession? No, they'll call that a long two. Requires Brodroy Phil Pot back to live action. Cats have been held in check to start this second quarter. Until now, there's Lindsey Pulliam. She has six. Strong conference, Oregon State getting the first round win. Stanford, got fourth Stanford number one seed. Cutting down the yes. Nets, by the way. Yes. You got Stanford? Okay. There have been some interesting conversations had, really, between players that have no clue who the other player is they're speaking with. You know, the little patio time, you look up, you say, what's up, Nas Hillman? That's what I'm thinking. I can't imagine the conversations between Veronica and Nas. <laughs> now that would work inside, and UCF now reclaims the advantage. Since then, Northwestern has kind of regained control for a minute. Hamilton the drive. Off glass and count it. 30 to 26. What's the vibe like in a situation like that, Brooke? Yeah, that's a great question because Diamond is that that player that plays with edge. You know, she's she's been that way ever since she's come to campus. Team to eight run to close out the first half, including those final six points. Yeah, we said steals and, and transition points were gonna be a big deal in this game. Burton throws it up and in, and the Cats extend their lead to five. Pulliam to fade away. Silky smooth and a chance for three. Stepped up big, and she told us a story about how she changed her shot. Her dad told her to get it elevated, and to do that, there was, you know, only one way to get it done. Trying to thread the needle with that pass. Somehow it gets to Thomas, who puts it up and in. So 37-33 with three to play in our third. This game feels like it's being played uphill both ways. 
to look inside. <laughs> Am I wrong? It feels like Northwestern should be out in front by a larger margin, whether that's valid or not, just from my perspective. Pulliam, I think, going to try to make that happen. A sweet dish to Shaw. Now a timeout called by UCF. I love the green. <laughs> Good compliment, you would have given me sure. like another half second. I had a witty comeback for you, but no, you that's now negated. The time has passed inside and Northwestern you can believe that for two and a half seconds. Maybe it's their year to reclaim the throne. <laughs> two and a half seconds is about right. Nice move down low. Offensive attack, the plan, everything got disrupted. And she is the leader. It's in her DNA. Coach Abe told us this week. Thompson with a putback. It's not like 10 points. I mean, that's not a comfortable lead at all. For about 13. Yeah, that helps a little more, you know. <laughs> As a three-point option has meant a lot to this Northwestern program. And Cat's starting to pull away 50 to 35. But with Satterwhite, Coach McEwen, how many times did he tell us she's the first one in, last one to leave? even without her health you know, across the country and the great stories that we've heard you know, getting athletes to register to vote uh, getting educational pieces out there learning how to be anti-racist yeah they just haven't found that go-to score i mean kaba has has somewhat been that tay sanders trying to get hot here late kaba the high low inside 50 to 44 and a nine nothing run for the Knights. And it was 50 to 35 with seven and a half to go and look at the score now and plenty of time to work with. Pull him a wide open path inside off glass and a chance for three. Instead it goes to Alicia Lewis. Every possession critical for the Knights. Kaba with position too easy 53 46. That gave them a lot of life. You see how much more aggressive they're playing on defense right now how Satterwhite stayed in bounds. The dump off for the Shaw. Well, they're going to look for Masani Kava. That's their main advantage. And she is getting after the boards. Oh, Big bucket there and a chance to make it a five-point game. Game hanging in the balance. Oh, big time. She had to step up, especially when Burton goes out. She fouls out. Pulliam. That's a clutch. 62 to 51, our final score. And for Lindsey Pulliam, 25 points on the same day that she goes over 2,000 in her Northwestern career. And more importantly, the ticket punch to the second round of the dance.